Jerry Harmon's not happy with that one because he didn't need that foul right there. He didn't want it for sure. And that'll push Skyview into the bonus also. 58-54, the Skyview Golden Hawks from Graysville near Marietta up by four. Vince Hogue, a 77% shooter from the line. That two-handed style of Vince Hogue. He has scored eight on the ball game now. He averages five on the season. Missing and tipped out to Jackson Center. Five-point lead for Skyview. Tony Meyer, whoa, he is red hot from they're, the perimeter. They're going to have to bring somebody out on Meyer because he's hit the last two out there. Meyer now with 24, stolen away by Jackson Center. Skyview almost got it back. And Jackson Center can cut it to one on this possession. They've been down by as many as 11 on a numerous occasions. They trailed by 11 at the half, did the Jackson Center Tigers. And now they're down by only three. Here's Dosick. The baseline missed the shot. Kept alive, though, by a wake out top for Tony Meyer, who's been the trigger man here. On this comeback, spinning move by Meyer into the lane, puts it up. And they're going to call it, what, a jump ball here? Jump ball, and you ought to watch Jerry Harmon over on his bench. He almost fell over it backwards. Mark Huffman isn't happy either. Well, you'll get another look at it, and you'll get a chance to determine whether or not you think it should be a jump ball. Hilberding got one hand on the ball. He didn't have it on there for very long. The rebound comes off the weight. And we got a foul call. On Mitch Hannes, and he's out of the ball game. Hannes will pick up number five. He's the key guy. He sits down, and Jackson Center will go to the line. So Mitch Hannes couldn't believe that he got called for the foul, and uh, he's out of here with 21 points, 15 of them in the first half. Two minutes, 16 seconds, and it's not so much what he has done here in the second half, it's what he represents to this ball club. It is a big psychological blow. We saw it happen last night when Worley's Jerry Francis went out against Jackson Center. Their team just did not play the same. We're going to find out what kind of character Skyview has. Senior Bill Winland's in a tough spot. He'll play for the first time in this game with only 2.16 to go. Here's the problem. Hannes is uh, probably their best ball hander along with Hilverding. Hilverding's got the bad toe. A lot of pressure on both Hogue and Winland. Scott Wake will go to the line. He had that big tip-in basket earlier. Couple of big rebounds. And Wake will miss the first in a two-shot foul. 59-56, Skyview by three, 2.16 to play, fourth quarter, Class A championship game, and Wake missed them both, and a big rebound inside by Hilberding, and tied up for the jump by Dosek. Good hustle by Dosek. Hilberding was lobbying for a foul. Well, Dosek's 5'11", Hilder Hilberding is uh, 6'3", but... I don't know how high he can jump right now off that toe. On the jump ball, Jackson center on the scramble off with it. Scott Wake gives it for Tony Meyer. Missed the shot. They attack the boards. Comes off inside, and the basket won't count. It's travel underneath on Jose. Look at Jerry Harmon. That says it all. He, he's not very happy with some of the turn of events. Jackson Center battling from behind the entire game. They were down by 11 at the half. Here's Vince Hogue. He becomes the ball handler now with Mitch Hannes on the bench, and we got a foul here. You aren't going to believe this. Tony Meyer has just fouled out of this game. Now, you got your two biggest guns from both teams going to the bench. Tony Meyer sits down with 24 points, and he gets a handshake for, from Todd Hilverding. Tony Meyer, the 6'2 senior third team all Ohio, has played his last minute of high school basketball, and uh, he'll sit out the final minute 59. That evens things up, and you can see how disappointed Tony Meyer is, because now with Hannes out and Meyer out, Meyer goes out with 24 points. Hold to the line, he's two for four in free throws, 74% on the season. And he misses the front end. Climbing the boards is Scoggin. Here's Jackson.
Johnson center with a chance to cut it to one. They lob it inside for Scoggin. He scores. Scoggin with a big basket there. Quickly down the floor comes Skyview and cutting it off the wing, Brian Leisure. Big bucket for Leisure, give him 14 to lead back up to three. The Hawks lead it 61-58. They pound it inside for Scoggin baseline. Took a bad shot, cut the ball back, let it go, what a shot by Scoggin. Oh, he brought that from his hip and he scored on it. Brian Scoggin, and he is fouled on the play. Well, Hilberding could not control the ball. Scoggin came up with it and puts it up and in. You're going to get a chance to see Hilberding mishandles the ball, but not coming down with it cleanly. There he gets the foul, and somehow Scoggin muscles it up and in and going to get a chance to tie this game up. That is 21 points for Brian Scoggin, 15 here in the second half. He can tie the game. Jackson Center can climb the mountain all the way. for Scoggin. Full court pressure from the Jackson Center. Tigers, Hilberding. Across for Vince Hoke. Boy, could they use Mitch Hannes right now. Off for Hilberding. It's tied at 61. Now to a minute five to play. Here is Leisure. High post to hold. As they spread the floor. Here's the new man in the ball game, Bill Winland, number 22. Out top for Hogue. 50 seconds to play now in regulation. Skyview 61, Jackson Center 61. The Skyview team handles the ball well. They run that good delay game. This is Hilberding. Out top for Winland, down to 33 seconds to go. Hilberding shadowed by Wake. Way across the floor for Leisure. Scoggin out to pick him up. 22 seconds. Skyview going for the final shot. Winland almost traveled. Ball loose on the floor and a foul on Scoggin. Well, with 15 seconds left, we said it would come down to free throws, and it looks like that's the way it's going to be. Fourth foul on Brian Scoggin. That'll send Skyview to the line, shooting the one and one with 15 seconds to go. It'll be Vince Hogue. Hogue is only two out of five from the line. He's missed a couple of front ends here in the second half. Yeah, now if I was him, I'd be standing back off, but that's it, that's it. Stay back off that line. You don't want to be up there because all it does is tense you up right here. Don't yeah. step up there until you're ready to take that ball. And now they're going to call timeout late. Think about it. Center takes their final timeout, I believe. They've used all four. One timeout remaining for Skyview. Both teams in the bonus. Tied at 61, and this has been the most exciting game of the day. We, we said it was a great matchup, but it's living up to our expectations. I'll tell you the truth, I think it's been the most exciting game of the tournament. Uh, a lot of the games uh, did not... They'd have one great half, uh, but uh, not two. And this game has had a two fantastic halves by both ball clubs. Each one muscling their way back from uh, one situation or another. You could see, look at the concentration of that one cheerleader. She is just praying that everything works out for her Skyview Hawks. Try and think now, uh, let's see, you know, let's play a little bit of coaching. This is what we all love to do. What happens if he makes the shot? What do you do if you're Jackson Center? And what do you do if you're Skyview? You, you, you press him, do you put token pressure on, or do you back off? If he misses, what do you do? We will soon find out. And uh, a guy who has a lot to do with the strategy has been told. Well, I know one thing. At the other end of the floor, it's going to be Scoggin with the ball. Scoggin has been the main man in the second half for Jackson Center with 15 points. Left. Fourth quarter, Class A championship game. Vince Hogue at the line. The score is tied, and he misses the front end. Loose on the floor, and a foul called here. And which way is it going to go? It's going to be on.
on Dosick, and I think that's it for him. Yes, that's going to be five fouls on Keith Dosick. So both starting guards have fouled out for Jackson Center. It was Tony Meyer, and now Keith Dosick will take the seat. And Hogue is going to get another chance. He's now two out of uh, six. Only four seconds ran off on that scramble down to 11 in the ball game, 61-61. And Quentin Reese will check into the ball game. So Reese and Jeff Teeters are the guard pair for Jackson Center with Dosick and Meyer fouling out. Talk about pressure. The front end missed Scoggin with the rebound. Tied at 61. Jackson Center now with a basketball. This is Lenhart, five seconds, off to Teeter. Teeter lets it go, scores! Jeff Teeter off the bench. Hadn't played a minute until the final seconds of this game. He scores, and Jackson Center has won the Class A championship. And the hero is junior Jeff Teeter's off the bench. There's Coach Jerry Harmon. He's addressing his fans. The entire Jackson Center community is here. And they have seen their team take their only lead of the game at the buzzer. 63-61 Jackson Center. They hadn't led, period. They've been behind the entire game. Tell you what, let's just watch for a few minutes. Let's just watch. <laughs> There's Peters, the hero, hit the buzzer shot. <laughs> Come off the bench, Cole. You got nothing but pressure on your shoulders. He did not play in the semifinal game. And he ends up winning the contest at the buzzer. Unbelievable basketball. This is by far the finest game in the tournament. A heartbreak for Skyview, but uh, I gotta tell you, they, they played some kind of basketball. There's Todd Hilberding who played with that bad toe and played extremely well. And he's going over to congratulate the Jackson Center team. And, 61 Jackson Center wins it and let's take a look at how they did it their only lead of the game coming on this buzzer shot by substitute Jeff Teeter well everybody sloughed off of Teeter they packed it around Scoggin just like uh, we thought he'd get the ball and then all of a sudden here he is in the paint and going up and look at this off balance but somehow bingo nothing but that oh what a finish to a busy day of basketball. Jackson Center wins the Class A title. Now let's pause for these messages. The reason this is such a heartbreak for Skyview, this is deja vu for this entire ball club. Last year they came into the semifinals, led Worley by 13 and lost by one. Tonight they led by 11 and they lose by two. Now we're getting the awards presentations. some of the players who did not see action in tonight's ball game for Skyview. Mike Hannes. That's brother of uh, Mitch Hannes. Vince Hogue. 
Vince Hogue, eight points tonight, but uh, I'm sure he's going to feel sorry uh, about missing those two front ends of uh, the 101 situation. Hilberding. Hilberding, despite the bad toe, 13 points and played his heart out. They all did. Aaron Kilburn. Kilburn finished the game with five points for Skyview. Brian Leisure. Leisure had eight in the first half, six in the second for 14 total. A real hustler. Mitch Hannes. And Mitch Hannes, 15 in the first half, 21 for the game. 51 points in two games. The Not three a bad managers, Dave Hayes, Kevin Whitmacher, and Jimmy Williams. It hurts an awful lot right now, but uh, years from now, they'll remember that they made it not to the state and tournament I once, but twice. You, Mr. Mark Hoffman. There's a young man with a great future. He has done a heck of a job at Skyview. Brought his team here last year and again this year, and he may be back again next year, the way he's playing. The commissioner of the Ohio High School Athletic Association, Mr. Richard Armstrong. And now Dick Armstrong, commissioner, is going to present the runners-up trophy. And uh, I like this touch. You know, they take it down in front of the fans and uh, let them share this moment. Athens is this great team. You've had a great season. You've had great tournament competition. And I think above all, the members of this great team, you have probably played in the finest state basketball tournament game ever played in St. John Arena. And for that, on behalf of the Ohio High School Athletic Association, I would like to present this runner-up trophy to the Skyview Hawks. What a group of dedicated young men. I'm sure all the community is proud of you. Class A runner-up, 1985 basketball tournament, the Skyview Hawks. Congratulations. So now Skyview will step aside, and this is the hardest part uh, for them. They leave center stage to the winners after leading the entire ball game. Jackson Center, a community of about a thousand people, about an hour.